All right, we're going to have some good morning love in here, baby. I like morning love better. Uh, you know, a little afternoon delight, as the song goes, is uh, the night's always going to be there. I, I get that philosophy. You know, the night's going to be there. You know, you wake up, you enjoy life now. That's my philosophy. Enjoy life now. Every moment is precious. Every moment of life is precious. Life is precious for those who are watching this live stream i believe fundamentally that all life is precious that's why i don't believe in eugenics and that's why i don't believe in abortion that's why i don't believe in evolution i don't believe in this uh baba misa it's a bunch of cockamamie mishigash goyesha cockamamie mishigash so where is everyone where is everyone Come on down to the fun house. And I have everyone on my ass. I'm always, I got, I got like, uh, how many people I got on me now? How many people are mad at me now? How many people we got mad at me now? Huh? I need a knife. How many people we got mad at me? Putting together food for lunch. Lunch and the breakfast. Breakfast. Lunch and the breakfast. We got people in the audience. How many people are watching today? I should do a morning cooking short show. Is that what I? That's what I should do. A morning gaming cooking show. A, a gaming, a cooking show. A gaming show. I should just do a It should just be twenty four seven, where I cook, I clean, I do gaming, I, I I I have fun. We do the bathroom thing. It just follows me around twenty four seven. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Check out my gaming channel. Check out my gaming channel, Games of Love. Why can't we be friends? So, I, you know, Brett left a comment, and he left a comment on, on Games of Love. That I gotta get rid of the demons. I gotta agree with that. You can't have demons in your life. That's that's number one. Um, you have to get right with God. I agree with that. I agree with Brett on a lot of things. I do believe that you gotta get right with God and you gotta get rid of the demons. Absolutely. And like everyone, you can't be friends with certain people. Will tells me I can't be friends with Vaughn. Uh, Brett tells me I can't be friends with Will. So I can't be friends with Will if if I'm friends with Brett. I can't be friends with Vaughn if I want to be friends with Will. Right? That's the way it works around here, right? If you don't particularly, if you're not friends with my friend, it's like a click, you know what I mean? It's like political, it's politics, and it sucks, you know what I mean? It's like I like a lot of people, you know. I, I'm a funky guy, and I like a, a lot of funky things in the world. I'm cooking some eggs here. They're looking good, by the way. A little butter, a little oil, frying them up a little bit. Breaking a couple of eggs. Baruch Hashem, God is good. Living lives. So you can't be friends with certain people 
if you want to be friends with me, you got to be right. It's like the Spice Girls song. You want to be friends with me, you got to get with my friends or something like that. You got to get with my friends. Oh. Get the fakakin spatula. Get the eggs going here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That barking. Oh, yeah. Put the oil over the top, the butter over the top. Get it nice and cooked on top. Oh, yeah. There used to be a really good place over by Will's house. And I guess they went out of business. They had a fire. And they went out of business soon afterwards. They came back. And I was good friends with the owner. It was like the nicest woman. And I felt so bad that I never went to the reopening. Because at that time, I was like working like a dog. Working like a dog. I want some food. Oh, yeah, there we go. Clone baby. Yeah, we go. Clone baby. You want some food? Mama don't feed you enough. How come mama don't feed you? Huh? How come? How come troll? You, that's why a lot of these people on the internet hate me because I eat so well. I'm always well fed. I eat good. I eat like a king. These people, they locked in their basement on their computer. Their mother put them in their basement, gave them a computer, locked the door behind. Don't come up. We don't want to see you ever again. They, they probably get beaten. They probably get treated like crap, right? And then they say, oh, well, this is a bad parent or this person's a bad parent or whatever. Oh, I made like the best eggs. Oh man, I make the best eggs. Oh, it smells so good in here, ladies and gentlemen. It smells so good. Now I got my lunch. So my mom, my wife, she makes like the best baba ganoush. She makes homemade baba ganoush. She makes the best baba ganoush. I'm mixing some rice in it. I'm gonna throw our egg in there. Oh yeah, mmm, mm, baby, mmm, mmm. I got a good life now. You wish you had a basement. So what? What do you have? Where does Mama throw you in the cellar? She puts you out in the shed, ties you to the shed, beats in the shed. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'm sorry to hear that, brother. But you have to get rid of the demons. I agree with that. Got my lunch for the day. It's a two eggs, some rice, and bubba ganoush. Bubba ganoush. Got to make sure I take water and I'll be hydrated all day. You know, it's true. You got to get rid of the demons. I don't disagree with you, Brett. You got to get rid of the trash. The trash is never good to have trash in your life. You know what I 
I mean, it's not good to be tr it's not good to be filled with trashy people. It's not good to be around trashy people. Is Will trash? I don't think Will's trash. I think he has a trashy mouth, but I don't think he's a trashy person. Matter of fact, I think it's I think he's a very clean person. Actually, I think he's a very um, upstanding person. And this microwave is making some crackly fucking noises, which I don't like. Bigoted sounds. Sounds bigoted going. Big, a lot of bigotry going on in there. Like it's going to blow up on me. Uh-huh. I don't know. We got a, we got a troll in there. up some rice. Throw the egg in there. I was made from one of my daddy's turf in a secret laboratory. I was made from Something in my daddy's uh, secret laboratory. My daddy talks to slugs. Yo, sure. Yo, yeah. Oh, I guess people are just too scared to actually come in and chat with me. It's funny that I put the link out there and people just, um, you know, they stay on the other side. But they're trolls. Like, why do you want them in here anyway? All right. What do we got here? This is some really good stuff. I'm going to advertise this. This is some really good stuff. This is some really good stuff. I can't eat certain breads because I got to stay away from the. I got the um, sugar levels have to be low. This is some good stuff too. A Nutrican, not a Puerto Rican, but a Nutrican's. We got some Nutrican's, not some Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. We got some Nutrican's. This is not too bad, too. I can't eat this because it's flour. But this is good, too. There's Vaughn. Oh, that's probably a fake Vaughn. Fake Vaughn account. I wish Vaughn would come in here. Yeah, I know. You broke your heart, Vaughn. I love you like a brother. You know I love you, man. Come on down, Vaughn. Come on in, Vaughn. If you're the real Vaughn, please stand up. Oh, yeah, the mixed vegetables. Oh, yeah, look at the wife made. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah, that's some good stir fry, whatever it is called. I have no idea what it's called, but it's some good loving. That's what I, all I know is some good loving. It's some good loving. We're going to take some out for my breakfast. Put some back. I still got work tomorrow. I'm, I still go to work tomorrow. I want to make sweet love to you and the wife. Oh, yeah. I got some interesting stories to tell. I was once, uh, I was like for bringing... This is making noise too again. I don't know why the microwave is making bigger sounds, but um, I was I was I was out with someone. I'm willing to forgive Vaughn. And I'm willing to forgive Vaughn. I don't know. I never. I don't hate Vaughn. The alarm was going off. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this breakfast looks good and smells good. So I know I don't know. I never faced bigotry before. I don't know what bigotry really is. I mean, when someone stops talking to you for who you are, does that is that like a bigoted thing? Uh, hello, John. Can I call you that? Yes, that's my name. What's going on with Vaughn? He won't talk to me anymore. For ne all the neglect, he deserves jail. Well, Vaughn never did anything to the elderly. I mean, you want to see elderly blue, so you, you take a look at what's going on in the, the current events. We can't talk about that subject here on YouTube. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, you have people that are hypo hypocrites. You have liberals out there saying that, you know, they can say whatever they want. You have Whippy Goldberg out there on television saying that, you know, the Nazis rounded up Jews not because they were racist or it was because it wasn't because of race. It had nothing to do with race, you know. It had nothing to do with Nazis. You know, it's the same political environment like today, you know. The Nazis started off by saying Jews need to be mandatory um, ouchies, Fauci ouchies, and that uh, they're destroying, you know, they have to go around wearing a star. They have to walk around with a, a vaccination card to prove their uh, status. That's how it worked. And then they eventually, they went to camps. You know, so eventually that's what we ended up with. And they did it because of their race, and they did it because of their religion, and they did it because they were ethnically Jewish. And um, that's why they did it, right? And so that's why they do it, because they wanted to separate them from us, right? It's us and them. And they use different means. You know, they, they spread disease. Jews do this. So the, to the Goyim, that was always their shtick with the Jew. It's always that. Even during the Middle Ages, even during the Black Ages. Yeah, this is an interesting take. I know, Dragnon. Welcome to the show, Drag. Hope you're doing well. Hope you and the students are doing well. And, you know, the Jews were very hygienic. They kept the food separate. They washed their hands. They had rituals. They did, uh, they did certain th practices that were very clean. The, Jew, the Torah teaches us to wash our hands, and the, and the Torah teaches us to live clean lives not to mix food and, and to have kosher food and not to eat blood and fat and not to keep you know, separate the grains. Oh, you know, little thing. I'm not going to go into every little thing, but the goyim, they just kept all their foods in the cells with the rats and the bugs. And they just, they, they wiped their hand, they wiped their ass and then ate the bread right out. They were filthy people, right? The, the superior white man, of course. And when the Jews weren't dying from the plague, you know, who's to blame? Well, it was the Jews because they're not dying. Why, I wonder why they're not dying because they're washing their hands before they eat. They're, they're clean people. They don't keep their food in the cellar. Imagine that with the rats. So let's go back over here to the table and eat our food. All right. Now what's going on in here? We got some people here. Got some people. Oh, just trolls. Let me get a fork. I like that name of that bread, Nutrican. <laughs> I'm a Nutrican. <laughs> I'm not a Puerto Rican. I'm a Nutrican. So that's just my thing. And you know, Brad left a comment. I was, I was, I was really happy that he left a comment. And then when I read the comment, I wasn't happy reading it. So, excuse me, I'm a naysayer. You know, most people, you know, naysayers. Yeah, naysayer. Or Zycon. Zyklon B for seasoning. Yeah, that's some humor you got there. A little spice on top. A little spice. A little spice. How do I get the text down? Now that, now that the my um, shoot my um, 
Oh, I got the mouse right next to me. Why won't I use the mouse? <laughs> I'm using the trackpad when I got the mouse right next to me. All right. Let's see what we got here in the comments section. Any actual comments here from people, or we just got trolls today? I'm not a babysitter. I'm not here to babysit you. So we have actual adults in the room that want to speak. Oh, let's see. I saw your show last night, and you're sitting on the fence. You're like a worm in your faith. No, I just want to be, believe. That's a good question. I believe in God, most importantly, right? I, you know, I think God is good, and I always love God. And I'm a monotheist. I believe in one God. I know there's oneness in the world. I know everything is of God. I believe in, and 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 second of all, well, I guess that's technically third, right? I want to be, you know, whatever third. If you want to go by the list, I believe in divine providence. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Destiny. There's no such thing as free will. We don't have choices in the world. Free will. Only God has free will. Only God can make a choice. Only God chooses what to do for today. And only God knows what he's going to do for today. We don't know. We can never know. Now, some people believe in the Goyim, believe in like, you know, consorting with spirits and uh, reading the stars as a way to read their fortune to know what the future will bring. Now, does that, those things are true. Those things are, are powerful. Um, is they Do they have the ability to do that? Is that how you can do it? Some say yes. Some say some say you can do that that way. Um. So, we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to. You have to believe in God. God gives you your... Um, society is evil. That is absolutely true. I like that. I like this guy, Aaron. He sounds like a nice guy. There's a guy pranking my phone call name. Uh, my, some people, someone's making prank phone calls by the name Aaron. I wonder if it's you. It probably is. It's okay if it is. It's funny. I get I get a laugh at it. Some guy calls me and, hey, my name's Aaron. Mm, okay. Why are you rubbing baloney on your guns again? Vaughn, what's, I don't know what that means. Is that like some sort of meme? So first of all, right, let's reiterate, right? I want to be, I want to know the truth. I'm a truth seeker. I believe in God, second of all, and I believe in divine providence. So, you know, you can call it whatever you want. Everyone has a favorite team. You know, I was telling, I was telling my wife, you know, if you're a Yankee fan, you're not allowed to have Red Sox memorabilia in the house or even be or even associate with people with the Red Sox jersey on. Well, you got to hate those people. And if you're a Red Sox fan, you got to hate people with the Yankees jersey and you can't associate with people who are Yankees fans and you can't talk to them and you can't do anything about it. Right. OK. And, and, and then if you and if you're and if you're a, a Mets fan. You know, the same thing. They're the Yankees of the evil empire, right? It's the same thing with Jews, Christians, and Muslims, right? They all love the game of baseball, right? They're all diehard baseball fans, right? As the analogy, let's keep it with the analogy. They love, you know, just, you know, pitching and hitting, and they got their favorite play players. They got their favorite players, Babe Ruth, and they got uh, – the pesky pole, the famous pesky pole in, 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 in Fenway Stadium. You know, oh, that's like an icon and the green monster. Ooh, they have their like special things, right? Right, you know. And they all hate each other and they all want to kill each other. But they all believe in the same thing. They all believe in the rules. They all believe in the, the DH rule. They all believe in the DH rule. Right. Well, I guess the, let's take the Mets out of that analogy. Then let's replace that with the uh, the Blue Jays. Right. You got the Yankees, the Red Sox, and the Blue Jays. They all love the DH rule. They all love being in the East Coast National uh, American League. Right. But they all want to kill each other. Why? You're 99. You believe everything believes in the same. They're all the same thing. 
They're all that they all believe in the same thing, but they all hate each other. They all kill each other. You know, not for me. Not for me. Okay. I, I enjoy the game of baseball. You know, I enjoy the game of baseball. And I enjoy religion. I enjoy I enjoy, you know, talking about politics. I enjoy, you know, learning. I want to know about what God how God thinks and how and how God relates to us, of course. There's contradictions between all the faiths. A lot different than being a sports fan. You don't proclaim the Yankees have the ultimate truth. Yeah, you do. You ever talk to a New Yorker? You ever talk to a, a disgusting Yankees fan before? I guess you never talked to a Yankees fan before. They're some of the most vile people you ever meet. New York's number one. Fuck you. I'm a, fuck you, New York's number one, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Who do you say? They, they, they talk like vile trash, the Yankees. You ever, you, I don't understand these people. New York's the best place to live. It's overpopulated. It's overpolluted. It's overtaxed. It smells like shit when you walk down. What are you talking about? You New York's not so great. You tell them that they flip out, all right? So you obviously never met a, a, a sports fan. You never met, definitely never met a Yankees fan. Yes, Yankees claim that, that, that there's no greater team in, in baseball history than Yankees, and they'll fight you for it. You be, they'll fight you for it. They'll beat the shit out of you for it, right? So, yeah, they do claim. They do claim. And the, and the Red Sox fans too, man. I You know, shh. You know they get nasty too. People get nasty over over their over their beliefs. People hate each other for their beliefs. I don't hate anyone. I don't hate people for their beliefs. I hate people for sometimes the actions that they do that are wrong. I think sometimes people do bad things, but I don't identify a person by what they do wrong. I I, I understand people will make mistakes. It's like the, I put out a video on the main channel today. That we're we're good people that sometimes make mistakes, and a lot of people are brainwashed, unfortunately, in their cult of personality, their cult of religion, their cult of politics. You know, I just want to live life. You know, what I'm saying I'm just trying to just get through the day. You know, what I'm saying I'm trying to have the best time I can possibly have. You know. So I don't – it's considered that a, a contradiction or sitting on a fans. I miss Big Poppy too. I like Big Poppy. Big Poppy was good. And uh, what was his name? Manny, Manny Ramirez, the, the, three and, uh, the, the, the three and fourth spot in the lineup. They were good. They were a good duel. Uh, but that's back in what? Like 08? When was the last time they played? When, when, when was that? Like 08, 09? Maybe, maybe like 010. I don't remember. Baseball was great before segregation. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I don't believe her in harassing people even as a joke. Me as me as as me as well. I don't believe in harassment. This is a harassment free zone. That's just liberal speak. Yeah, sure, I guess. Oh, we got uh, our friend. The guy who talks about assaulting people's butts speaks about vile. Okay, okay, whatever that means. We're going to come after your butts, guys. We're coming for you. Hide your wives. Hide your, hide your uh, butts. Harassing is no bueno. No good. Si, senor. Si, senor. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to get dressed here, go on with my life and live life and have a great day. I'm going to have a great Friday. Happy Friday, by the way. Today's Friday, the holy day for Muslims. You know, it's funny that George Collin used to have a joke. Muslims have Fridays, Jews have Saturdays, and Christians have Sundays. God has a three-day weekend. You know, lucky little, do look, lucky little boy he is, huh, that he has a three-day weekend. It's just coincidence that I have the same name that harasses you, John. Yeah, sure. You have to put up with them. Yeah, happy Friday. What do my fingers smell like? Ugh, these people have some sick minds. Smells like your mother's uh, snatch. How's that for an answer? Is that, is that a good answer? Is that the politically correct answer? I don't know.
Oh, boy. Anyway, finish eating breakfast. I'm going to probably get going here. Beautiful day outside. Oh, the weather's changing really nice. Enjoying life. Oh, well. Yeah, more. My ears, my oh, my poor virgin ears. Take it easy, guys. Any actual adults in the room that want to answer, ask a question? Well, we're we're uh, heading out of here. I don't have time to babysit. Brian Cranston on his what? What did that say on the bread line? On his white blindness? Oh my God! This is so awful. I can't believe. Uh, I can't believe that. Isn't that the guy from Isn't that the guy from Breaking Bad? He's now he's anti-white too. I vomited a bit. I I apologize. I don't make I don't uh, I don't I didn't mean to make you vomit. On his white bl blindness, I need to change. Is opening up about Brian Cranston is opening up a, about his white blindness and how he recognized that it led him to turn down a job a directing job was approached by Matt Shockman. Be interesting in play, uh, directing a play based on Larry Shu, the foreigner, about an Englishman who prevents the conversion of Georgia's Fish and Lodge, he's saying, into a Ku Klux Klan meeting place. Oh, I, maybe I read it. Maybe it's something I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was something about him hating being white. Do I like Michael, what, how do you say his name, Haster? I don't know who that is. Let me see. Let me Google him right real quick. Michael Haster. I don't know who this is. Is this an actor? Maybe Google will be better. Let me go to Google. No, I don't know. I don't I don't know who that is. You need to learn and watch InfoWars and learn something. There you go. Anyway, I'm gonna get going, guys. I saw a video from Welsh throwing up the blood sign. Yeah, I do. I can. I, I learned it in school. D L O and then O O D. I can't really do it. My fingers don't bend that that way. Take it easy, guys.